Happy New Year! It's 2019. We made it! <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys did for your New Year's Eve celebration. Uh, I ended up hanging out with Emily and we hung in and watched uh, Twilight Zone Marathon and then Dick Clark's uh, New Year's Eve a special that they do every year on TV. And uh, we had a few beers, uh, drank some champagne. I baked some healthy cookies. I haven't baked these cookies in a while, but I, I used to make them all the time. They're essentially uh, raisins, bananas, oatmeal, peanut butter, honey, and cinnamon. And you bake them, and then I put a little bit of a strawberry jam on top. She wasn't a big fan, but I still like them. And uh, we ate some shrimp. Uh, she put in uh, some champagne. Uh, with uh, cherry gummies. She basically, you, you soak them overnight, I guess, and the champagne soaks into the gummies. Those were not very good, but they were fun. They were something different. We had some noisemakers, some uh, you know hats and stuff like that. It was a fun time overall. Uh, I really don't drink too much anymore. So I was uh, goofy and uh, verbose, and uh, it was a, a fun time overall. And uh, the main reason I'm making this video, though, the point I wanna get to, is I'm gonna be making some uh, lists uh, coming up, like the top 10 movies of 2018, uh, the top 10 horror movies of 2018, uh, underrated movies of 2018, lists like that. And I wanna get your guys' uh, input as well. Uh, if you could leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite movie of 2018 is, and if you can let me know what you think is the most underrated movie of 2018, and your favorite horror movie of 2018, leave me those comments down below. I feel like this year there was like a few really good horror movies, some great horror movies in fact, but then after that it kind of dwindled out. I feel like the past few years were amazing for horror, like the past four years, uh, just incredible, some groundbreaking ones. I think uh, this past year had some, uh, a couple really amazing, like Hereditary for me is one of the creepiest movies I've seen ever, all time. Uh, there's a few other movies I really enjoyed in the horror genre, but overall it just felt a little weak in comparison to the past few years. Uh, and I haven't watched as many um, documentaries and international films that I, I usually do, especially towards the end of the year when they come out finally over here in the U.S., like limited releases uh, and international films. Um, so this is probably the year that I've watched the least amount of those kind of films, limited releases, documentaries, and uh, foreign films. So I'm definitely looking forward to any of those recommendations that you have as well. Uh, so I'm going to try to make those lists by the end of January. That's a, a goal right there of mine. And yeah, let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions as well. I think I might make a YouTube resolution because I feel like um, I want to get back to my roots, making more uh, just straight up movie reviews. That's something I really want to do. Uh, I like making the Blu-ray updates and stuff like that, but uh, definitely want to do more of those movie reviews and uh, more top 10 lists and stuff like that. And I do plan on doing the rest of my uh, horror collection uh, shelf videos. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. I never took YouTube seriously. I just, you know, it's fun. Uh, but I kind of, I feel like I want to get back into uh, certain aspects of it and, uh, you know, maybe take it a little bit more seriously. So that's something I've been thinking about. Um, let me know again, resolution wise, uh, as far as uh, my personal life, um, I have a heart condition. So I definitely want to focus on my health for sure. Uh, you know, maybe uh try to work off a few more pounds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the main one. But again, the main reason I was making this video to say uh, thank you for all the support on here for all the years I've been making videos. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, it's because of you guys that I continue to make them. It's a lot of fun and talking uh, movies with you guys and interacting. Uh, so definitely expect more reviews coming up the top 10 list. Let me know how your New Year's Eve was, uh, your resolutions. And again, definitely let me know what your uh, top movie of 2018 is, your most underrated movie of 2018, your top horror movie of 2018. Leave me those comments down below and uh, I will check out some of uh, the movies and maybe they'll make my list of the, the top and most underrated. Uh, but there you go. I just want to get your feedback, your input and uh, what you thought of 2018 as a whole uh, movie wise. And I hope you guys have a fantastic and blessed 2019. Thank you again for the support and I hope you guys are doing well. Take care.